Hey guys, Todd here from Roadrunner Sports, uh, coming at you today with the review of the Brooks Revel 4. Very excited to talk about this shoe. Uh, I just got done uh, putting some miles on it this morning. I've put about 25 miles in the shoe uh, over the past week or so, and uh, definitely have a lot to say. I really, really like this shoe. To me, this is a high value shoe. So, you know, what you're paying into the shoe, um, this shoe comes in at just under $100, so it's on the lower price point. Um, while you're not getting all the bells and whistles out of the shoe, um, the features you do get, uh, they do really, really well. And um, I think, uh, again, there's a lot of people that can fit into this shoe well, and it can be kind of that everyday workhorse for you um, that's gonna get you through a lot of your runs. So let's talk about some of the features here. So first things first, um, this is a uh, neutral shoe, kind of mid-level neutral shoe. I would even classify it almost on the lightweight trainer side. Uh, on a men's size nine comes in right around about uh, nine ounces, 8.9 ounces I think is where uh, it officially comes in. And while it doesn't feel like the lightest weight shoe on your foot, um, it, it feels like it's a lightweight shoe. Um, uh, definitely has some features that make it feel even a little bit lighter. I will say the outsole of the shoe, so they um, they updated the shoe with their Biomogo DNA midsole and a green rubber outsole, and it should give the, the shoe a little bit more of a springy ride. The first two runs in the shoe, I felt like the outsole was just a little bit stiff. Uh, when I hit the ground, um, it just felt a little bit stiff. By my third uh, run in the shoe, I didn't feel that way quite as much. And it, actually, as I went faster, it felt springier. So <clears throat> I think uh, some break in there in the shoe. And um, again, because it is uh, that lighter weight uh, shoe, as you go faster, I definitely think you can kind of uh, enhance some of the features of the shoe. One thing I really, really liked about this is that the upper here. So this is a, a full mesh upper. Uh, they use kind of a, a more uh, double layer type mesh here and definitely didn't feel any hot spots. It felt lightweight, it felt airy. Um, <clears throat> you know, one thing I've noticed with some shoes lately is that I may get some rubbing on, on the, uh, the outside of my foot here. This definitely didn't have that and I think it's because of the way uh, they've, uh, they've done the mesh upper here. Heel fit was very good in this shoe. You can see they have the pull tab here, so it's easy to get on and off. Um, but it, it sits really well on, <clears throat> on the heel, no rubbing in the Achilles. Um, again, they don't use a lot of the bells and whistles in this shoe, so you, know, you don't have like the, the super plush laces or anything, but it didn't matter. This thing fit really well. Uh, you know, In the midfoot, it hugged the foot really well. In the forefoot, like I said, it was just roomy enough. Got the heel in tight so that you didn't have any slippage. I like those things uh, a lot. Let's talk about, again, going back to the ride of the shoe. Uh, some things I noticed. So again, while it was a little bit stiffer the first couple runs, that did kind of go away a little bit. Uh, I did notice that um, the cushioning in the shoe, I thought it was a higher level cushioning than what I was expecting. So, um, as, again, I'm about 25 miles into the shoe so far, uh, I definitely felt every run was really good on the cushioning. My shortest run in the shoe was about three miles. My longest run was just over eight. No differences in, in the cushioning from the short run to the long run. Uh, it felt good every step. So that was a really positive sign. To me, I would give this thing like a best buy. Again, uh, I think for what you're paying into the shoe, this is a really, really good value. And um, I think Brooks hit, hit the, uh, you know, hit it out of the park on this one. They did a lot of things well. Uh, I did not run in the Revel 3, so I can't really compare it to the last version of this shoe. But I can tell you, if you're on the neutral side, uh, you like a lighter weight shoe, um, need that everyday workhorse shoe, give this one a try on. I think you're really gonna like it. And, um, you know, if, uh, if, you know, if you're a VIP, you get 90 days to test run our shoes. So uh, be a, uh, join our VIP. Run in the shoes. If you don't like them for any reason, we'll find you something else that uh, works better for you. I think you are gonna like this one though. And remember, if you're VIP and shopping online, you also get free shipping. So Brooks Rebel 4, uh, again, best buy for me. Uh, this is definitely going into my rotation as uh, one of my weekly shoes. Uh, excited to put some more miles on this and uh, maybe we'll do a follow-up review 
uh, you know, 50, 60, 100 miles in uh, to tell you how these are working out. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the road.